What we hope AI and big data to be is coming out of the labs and falling into the palms of our hands. My name is Yang Tianjar and uh, I'm serving as Vice President of Alibaba Group right now. Uh, what I'm leading is what we call the Computing Platform Business Unit and it provides a technical platform for people to do big data and AI compute on our cloud. We kind of all agree that if the computers can become more smart, uh, they could be much more useful than what they are today. Really, we want them to be our kind of intelligent assistants. Think about how we human learn. We learn from the years of experiences when we grow up, and that involves quite a lot of data if you think about it. For the computers to be intelligent, we need that amount of what we call training data as well. And that's essentially what big data and AI are together for. It's not only about storing the data, it's also about utilizing them and make sure that more insightful information can be provided for our everyday users. One of the biggest use cases is the Double Eleven event. On that day, there's like quite a lot of transactions going on. So basically, we need to efficiently serve our clients um, in terms of you know, like making accurate accounting for all those transactions happening on the Taobao platform and also um, intelligently connect our users with the contents and merchandises they are interested in. So that involves quite a lot of compute, basically. What we are able to achieve is that for the whole day, every transaction from happening to being recorded on our book has a maximum of five second latency. And that allows us to very accurately make sure that we can have a business decision based on the real-time statistics that we're getting from our you know, sales event and things like that. And that is a key capability that can help you know, like all these e-commerce vendors to make their business more efficient as well. Today, what we are doing is really to basically use big data systems to be able to process a wide range and a large amount of data to be fed into an AI algorithm so that we can train a more intelligent model, as we call it, to understand as we human understand it, and then to be a more intelligent assistant in designs, in making business decisions. We have a large scale model called called M6. What it does is understanding text and images jointly. And then M6, as an AI model, basically learns the correlations between the images, the appearances, and the descriptions. And so it can be used in very interesting applications. Uh, we have a branch called Xinyu Zhizao, which is making personalized t-shirts and things like that. So we can basically ask M6 in text, say, hey, you know what? Could you provide me a design, like a Bohemian geeky shirt? It can then combine those kind of, I guess, genres. And basically, instead of having our designers manually do it, M6 can be a very smart assistant to our designers, basically say, here are a few candidate designs, pick from these kind of candidates, do fine tunes and things like that, and eventually then providing a much nicer or efficient production pipeline. What I hope is, you know, like for all those AI algorithms today, they are a little bit far from our everyday work. I, I really want it to be like really easy to reach for our everyday users so that it can help humanity to be more, to be more fair and sustainable.